What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a little bit of different type of experiment. We're still going to use our test fender and this right here was the She Show Color Shift by Eye Candy. But today we're going to do, like I said, just a little bit different. Let me go ahead and flip the camera and I'll show you guys. Alright, so check this out. Today we're going to go ahead and spray the fender with two different types of uh, brilliant metallic finishes. Uh, so the first one is gold. We have some gold here by Rustoleum. This is a 2x paint and primer and the other one is aluminum. It's a bright coat aluminum. So these two are very brilliant as you spray them. After you spray some clear coat over them they kind of dull out a little bit but before we you know just clear over these paints we're gonna spray some candy. Some candy over the Rustoleum uh, rattle can paints and see what uh, see what happens see if it works out and see how it looks and Before I move on. I also wanted to show you guys um, I do have some pearls. This is kin gold by uh, eye candy pigments and this is also a gold brilliant gold and a jung in silver and uh, So I have these that I want to spray like in another video not in this video and I also have the ghost gold. So this one is a pearl. Um, so it looks white, but once you spray it, if you spray this over white, it'll give you a nice gold effect. If you spray this over, over black, it'll turn the black into gold. So I definitely want to try these out in a separate video. But um, for today, we're going to go ahead and spray these two half and half on this fender. And then we'll spray some candy over it. So let's go ahead and uh, get started with the spray cans. Okay, so check this out. Here's the gold. Go ahead and turn on the flash, see if it does anything. But here's the gold and here's the silver or aluminum. So we're gonna use that as our base coat and let's go ahead and uh, see the candy paint. Okay, so this is the candy that I'm using. It's brandy wine. And this, I've had it for a while on a candy paint job that I did with a silver base coat and then the candy wine and then the clear coat. But check this out. This is the candy red. And it looks like blood. Uh, so I'm going to use this, just reduce it down a little bit and just add it to our spray gun and spray it. Check this out. Blood. nice deep red so we're going to spray this over those uh, silver and red and gold base coats they're rustoleum rattle cans so we'll see what's up
All right, so I sprayed several layers of this candy paint over it. And this is uh, this is actual candy. Uh, the base coat was the Rust-Oleum gold metallic and the silver or aluminum. Uh, now, once I turn on these uh, lights, <laughs> wow. But the camera isn't gonna capture it, so. But check this out. <laughs> All right, so unfortunately the camera can't show you. But have you guys seen the Mazda? I think it's like a CX-8 or something like that. It has a red, deep red. Uh, it's actually a tri-code as well. Um, crystal something. Uh, it looks very nice. I haven't added any clear coat. But, like, the base coat. Turn this off. The base coat here, like the gold or silver. It's like, you can't even tell the difference. Like you see the line where it kind of separates. I didn't make a line, it's just like the overspray or something. But, and you can see some lines. But, you, you can't really tell the difference in the base coat. I mean, if anything, you could have sprayed gray primer and just start spraying the candy paint. And it's gonna turn red because this is like so red. I'm pretty sure, like, look at the cup over there. If I got it on my hands, uh, it looks like blood. And I'm pretty sure, where's my spray gun? Like, I'm gonna have some trouble, like, cleaning this, cause that red is just so, like, so thick and so, like, it stains, like, big time. But, I actually want to see something cool out of it. It is a very nice deep red color for sure. But what I'm thinking, I'm adding, uh, I'm thinking of adding some ghost red pearl into the clear coat just to, it's a disposable fender. We're going to sand it down, but just to see something cool, right? Uh, I mean, that's, that's my opinion right here because like the red is, is just so deep. It's, but like the base coats, um, I don't think they made any difference. Nah. All right, I'm gonna get some Rust-Oleum Ultra Matte Black and spray this corner right here. So when we spray the ghost red, we'll see what, we got a little bit of run. Get a little bit of runs. That's okay. Okay, so here I have the clear coat already mixed, uh, four to one, and here is the ghost red pearl. Now this one looks white on the bottle, but like if we spray this over the white, it'll it'll give you a nice red pearl effect. It'll stay white, but it'll give you a pearl effect. If you spray this over black, it'll turn it red. And this color is kind of deep, so I want to see what it does. Nice teaspoon.
All right, guys, so right here we're still under the shed with the lights. And uh, we'll see whatever we can see right here. It looks red. It's pretty bright that it doesn't let the camera focus. Down here, I wanted to show you guys with this light what the color looks like. Uh, so this is ghost pearl, ghost red over black. So that little little metallic effect or whatever, that's just done by the pearl. Let's see if I can lock it right there. There, you see how it kind of turns black, and then once the the light or the sun hits it, we see this color. So over here on the red, we also have some of that. See if you can see that. But this lighting, is, it's either the wrong color or too strong or something. But um, let's go ahead and take this out into the light because right now the sun is already going down and we don't have much light left. So. All right. So you guys can see a little bit of the sparkle or glimmer effect. And that's uh, that's mostly from the ghost red, because, um, like I said, we use the metallic gold and the metallic uh, aluminum or silver, and we really can't, or I, I really can't tell the difference between the two. It just looks all one sol solid color. Uh, there's some streaks going up and down where I used a spray can. There's one right here. Uh, I guess the overspray between the two colors But that is the color and Then this one it was black rattle can, but we sprayed the ghost red pearl and It made that color so I Haven't done a video of uh, just spraying the ghost red over black, but here it is first look and that um a little glimmer, the metallic or whatever you want to call, you know, it's all through the red as well. But last time we did the apple red with a uh, senshi red pearl over it, it's kind of the same deal. Look, there's a there's a lot of it, like, and it looks really really nice. Uh, but obviously, actual candy paint over rustoleum does work. Uh, the colors that we chose for the base, I don't know how well like they can reflect because the candy you're supposed to be able to see the depth to it. You know, we do see the sparkle effect from the ghost. That's coming from the ghost because the metallic gold doesn't have any and the candy doesn't have any metallic or glitter or whatever. So, look. These are just like it actually looks nice if it weren't for like streaks or the fact that it's just a test fender uh, It actually looks looks like a nice color. I don't have enough candy to do like my whole car, but It is such a beautiful color All right, so a few things that I think I could have changed differently on this one was um like the Kin Gold and the Jung and Silver, I could have tried using those as bases, um, so we can try to get a more reflect reflective color from the base coat. Uh, the candy, you know, we can't do much about the candy; just lay the coats. I did like four, I think. Um, but afterwards, I think the Ghost Red, what it did was just add an effect over everything, so it kind of took away the depth to it, and we were just seeing the top. Overall, still a very beautiful color, uh, but then again, uh, to do something like this, you had to order like a, a candy kit, and candy itself is quite expensive. So this was just an experience, like a like yeah, an experience and an experiment, just to see what happens. Uh, we're mainly trying to focus on the rattle can gold and the aluminum as a base coat, which no reactions at all, and it kind of worked. But the color itself, I don't think was the greatest, you know, like, like I said at the beginning, they kind of lose their brilliance once you add some clear or some paint over them. 
and even if you didn't like if you just use gold paint over some wheels or something like that uh, within time that gold is just gonna dull out and turn into bronze so um, with all that being said guys leave me some comments let me know what you guys think about this and uh, one more thing I know I've been doing some experiments with the clear coat and some of these pearls which I love I totally love I'm going low on the clear I have another gallon a brand new gallon of that Besney uh, which I had ordered two from the beginning but um, you know I want to use that to paint my car and I should really start uh, you know getting to work on that one so uh, as you guys saw in one of my community posts I bought several uh, cans of Rust-Oleum Ultra Matte and that's what I'm gonna use for the base coat and after that I'm kind of decided on the sushi roll which I already have like the little 25 gram jar I wanted to buy a second jar just so I can add and uh, you know make sure that I have a sufficient pearl the color shift pearl but they're out of stock right now but other than that like I had other colors in mind but just to go with like because I had senshi red in mind but just to go with a senshi red to a car show uh, I kind of wanted to take a really nice color uh, and I don't know if I should like you know I, I'm just I'm just uh, I don't know if I should wait on the sushi roll till they get back in stock and just order some more uh, but I kind of like as far as these samples the color shift samples the sushi roll has been pretty pretty nice like very nice and uh, I haven't tried them all and I'm sure there's other colors that are just amazing and that's just the thing every time I hit up with the color on the, on the test panel uh, I just fall in love with it and it's just harder and harder to make up my mind so I think I should just uh, stick with the sushi roll to spray the car and just get it ready from now because um, I still have other things that I need to do I need to set the airbags on my truck and uh, you know I don't want to keep on uh, you know postponing it or, or like putting it off to a side so that being said guys uh thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate all, all of you guys just watching the videos and uh subscribe if you want to see more and i'll be working on my car soon also so it's gonna be it for today thank you so much for watching peace out